Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Justice for All, everybody! Praise be God on this amazing day! We are going back to Turnabout Big Top. We're still in the Part 1 investigation. Right. Gumshoe's in a good mood, despite getting paid less than Peanuts. Oh, boy. All right, uh... Wait, we talked to him all the way? Yeah, we did. Moe's room. Moe's room, oh boy. Uh, we can go in there. Maybe Mo. Nope, Moe's not normal. Never mind. Moe's Mo the not. clown! Moe's <laughs> the clown? December 28th, cool. watching the Hall, first floor, Moe's room. How many cosmos does he have? This is it? The name tag on the door says Mo on it. I guess he's not here. Wow, it's a real mess in here. My room's probably worse, though. Oh, well, I give up. We'll have to come back later. No, we are examining everything in this room. <laughs> There's some great stuff in How many clown pants are there? All those clown costumes lined up like that. I don't know about you, but it's creepy. Look at the collection he's got! It's incredible! There must be a collection of clown costumes from around the world. Oh! I almost forgot! What is it now? She better not want me to try one of those on. I was thinking of starting a costume collection myself! I'll call it World Spirit Channels! We can display it in our office! In our office?! As soon as you start paying the bills, you can say that! We've already got a Steel Samurai thing up, Naya. Moe's got an excellent pair of pajamas, laid on his bed in an excellent manner. What? Those are pajamas? You mean he goes to bed dressed as a clown? Ew. <laughs> He's d dedicated to the job. Awesome! Look at those shoes! They're great! Forget the shoes! Check out the great big gag banana peel. You sure it wasn't Moe's snack after lunch? Are you blind? Look at how many scratches there are from people slipping on it. There's a TV. Mo seems to be a voracious reader. Look at all these hard books he has there. Clowns for Dummies, The Joke's on You, Treat Your Peons Right, and the classic Funny Jokes are Funny. Wow, Mo is very studious. The Joke's on You, huh? <laughs> TV. No TV, apparently. What the? There's a string of carrots here. How strange. The carrots seem to come in all different shapes. Weird. What if they get rotten? I don't think they're real. Oh. I can't tell if Mo just likes carrots or if he is using them for some sort of gag. <laughs> Clown equipment's so funny looking! He's got a balancing ball, a unicycle, he's even got a trampoline! But they're all broken. Maybe he was just a little too excited during practice? Who knows with that guy? Maybe that's part of the gag? Also, there's a hole in the ceiling that has been boarded up. <laughs> Look at the ceiling. It looks like someone punched a hole in it. You're right. I wonder what happened. Hmm. I don't even want to imagine what goes on in here. And that's from above. Did someone, like, stomp really hard and, like, crash <laughs> through the floor? Maybe. <laughs> Okay, well, circus entrance. Let's go. Let's in go the to the top. big top. Ooh. December twenty eighth, very big circus, big top. The circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. In, like your best dressed outfit. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Grr. Huh, Nick? It wasn't me. Grr. It's <laughs> Tiger! I'm not gonna do the sound effects for that. <laughs> He's coming this way! Grr. <laughs> you, you do not have to do the sound effects. It puts it's the sound effects in. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. You ah! Ah! Are we dead? We're dead. Nick! You're too young to die! Nick! This is you. Stay! Stay! Heal! That is definitely not I know. the voice. I, I know! know. I, I know! I know! Grr. I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Nick! Nick! Are you okay? Ah, scared. 
Scared, okay, let me see. Scared you, didn't I? Let's see. Oh, this is so cute! Legion's such a cute tiger, isn't he? What's the matter? You two are quiet. Don't what's the matter, me? Nick, Nick almost died there! Huh, he wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tiger is hardly bite- This little tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? You agree, don't you? I guess. W what do you mean you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo! Your costume. Huh? It's cute. I want to try it on. C costume You mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Right? Uh, I guess not. Really? <laughs> You're the best. Wow. The tables turned quickly on that one. So much for the tiger fan. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer of the Berry Big Circus. My name's Maya Faye. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. When you put us up next to an animal tamer, I bet we really look odd. Nice to meet ya. Uh, likewise. So first things first, court record. How old is Regina She's Berry? She's 16. The idol to, of the Berry Big Circus and daughter to Russell Berry. I the wondered Ringmaster. if it was the daughter. Great. Right. Same last Baby, name. Baby, she killed. Wait, what's her staff look like? She's got a star staff? Uh, yes. Ah, that's so cool! Okay. Hey, Regina, what do you know about what happened last night? Regina. <laughs> you mean the murder? Uh huh. My dad was murdered. I can't imagine how hard this must be for you. That was insensitive. Th that's right. The ringmaster was your... Yep. The ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Wow, really so text occasionally. I don't know why. Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. A Regent. Regent? So she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. Uh-huh. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. I'm I, I also very love this music. curious about this girl. She's like, oh, whatever, my dad's dead. <laughs> no Suspicious. No, that's definitely suspicious. She's also Jasmine, in, in a way, because she's playing with the lion. The oh, tiger. oh, the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was just playing. <laughs> she was just playing with that stupid self-absorbed Prince, Prince Hawkman. <laughs> Prince Hawkman. <laughs> that's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary. He's cute. Ever since Leon died, Regent's been my best friend. Leon? You know that guy from Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> yeah, I was literally like, Leon? Yes, Le Leon the Lion. Leon the Lion, Regent and Regina? Interesting name choices. Leon? He died? Yes, actually he was killed. My dad killed him. That's horrible! No! <laughs> nope! You know what? Bumped off? Fine. <laughs> wow! You know what? No one kills my precious animals in this game. Nope. nope. What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. If she... Breaks down. So already Marty's like, what? The remaster was a terrible person. He killed a tiger. Nope. I was a lion. A lion, never mind. A lion. Okay, people don't just kill cats. lions for no reason. I do too, but I mean, maybe people, he had a good reason. Hey, some animal breeders kill animals for no reason, and it's stupid. 
It is stupid. I, he wasn't breeding lions, though. <laughs> it's a big jump, like, oh yeah, he has lions in his circus, too. He's breeding lions <laughs> illegally just to kill him. <laughs> He's a terrible person. That would be awful. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, what? No, wait, no, wait, I saw someone. Oh, oh yeah, that was the, uh, the remaster. Oh my gosh, he literally looks like the Pringles guy. But what? <laughs> <laughs> Russell Berry, sir, Pringles. <laughs> the victim of remaster of the Berry Big Circus, Regina Berry's father. Sorry. What about this? What can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at figuring out hard things. Really? You too? I understand exactly what you mean. I never expected Maya to make a new friend in a strange place like this. Maya's weird, therefore she attracts weird people. And weird people try to kill her. Never mind. Wow! This silk hack is... <laughs> silk hack! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> How is the hack silky? I don't know. This silk hat is Max's. That's right. It's beautiful, isn't it? I thought of the idea of wearing the hat. Huh? Really? Yup, he took my sketch to the hat shop. And they made a custom hat for him based off of the sketch. There's only one of these silk hats in the entire world. Isn't that cool? Maya, you're a spirit channeler. Yep, I'm still training though. That sounds like fun. I think you should join us at the circus. Huh? As a spirit channeler? Yeah! You'd be a big hit! Really? She says I'd be a big hit! I think she's just being nice. I don't know, what if you channel someone from the dead? It's Max! Hey, where is Max now anyway? D you don't know? No! He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay! Nick and I will help him! Max isn't the guy, isn't he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not! I'm worried about so many things right now. Hmm, like what? <laughs> uh, are you worried about getting caught? <laughs> what do you think about this person? Sorry. Sorry? I've already given my heart to another man. So I'm not interested in enrolling in your dating service. Huh? I just wanted to know if you knew this person. She's already interested in another man. Will we meet said <laughs> man? I don't know. Mm. Maybe said man is a lion. No, no, you know how there are weirdos who are like, I don't need a person. I have my dog. Or I have like my cat. The cat oh, lady. dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool. This lady's got a whip. She's an animal tamer, huh? Mmm, sort of. Two women with whips. That's my cue to shut up and act like a good boy. <laughs> no snark. Alright, I look so cute in this picture. Don't you think I look cute? Don't ya? Don't ya? You sure do! No objections here! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. After practice was over, Dad went right back to his room. His room? Yeah. The door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room. It's probably a good idea to check it out for myself. Why are you sparkling so much? Mm. What's on your mind? <laughs> <laughs> That's a Carmen San Diego reference. <laughs> Regina, what's the matter? What's on your mind? <laughs> I'll tell you, Maya, but just you. Ah! Um, well... <laughs> what? Really? And then... <laughs> oh my, that's incredible, Regina! Come on, Nick, there's no reason to pout! Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed her their love to her. I wonder if she was like P -p -p professed their love. I wonder love? if she was like proposed to or something. So that that's similar. Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactica. Oh, <laughs> gossip. I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts, anyways. And then on the exact same day, another person professed their love to her as well. Oh, I wonder if it what? was like who was it? I wonder if 
another theory. I wonder if these two people were like, I want this girl, I want Regina. And then their dad's like, hold up, man. Like, you can't fight over my daughter. That's super weird, creepy, uncool. And then they were just like, let's kill the guy. Wow. I don't know. Well, love is strong. Love is crazy sometimes. I think that's more lust. Lust and perhaps creepers. <laughs> I think that kind of goes hand in hand, actually. Perhaps. What? Who was it? Someone named Trilo. Trilo? Apparently, he's a tenor who sings in the Chris Circus. Ooh, I'd go mm. with the tenor if I, I were her. I haven't met him yet. Tenor, uh, unless if he's a creep, then no. <laughs> or if he killed the lion, then no. Wow, <laughs> you're like, this guy killed a person. I mean, that's fine. It's, it's, they killed a lion. How dare they? Scum of the earth. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, it, okay, I, I'm not, I do not approve of anyone killing people. Okay, killing people. That's wrong. good. <laughs> killing people's wrong. Killing animals is very wrong. Also wrong, but they wrote that. Mm, killing people is worse than killing animals. It is. It is worse. You, okay, well, you said killing people is bad. Killing animals is very yeah. bad. <laughs> so it was yes. making, you were I making hear, it sound like I animals. About animals. Regina seems to be quite the hit with the men in the circus. I mean, she's probably one of the only girls in the circus. She is literally the only girl in the circus. She must have some sort of strange power over them. Maybe it's the staff. You're not kidding. Two people in one day. Even I want to profess my love for her. Ugh. Me too. She's so cute. <laughs> uh, she is sparkling, to be fair. I don't care. Phoenix, you're being weird. And I think she's making you weird. Yeah. Ah, a ladder! Actually, to be fair, Phoenix was also a little smitten with April May when he first met her, so he might just have a thing for, like, the cute girls. Well, was he? I thought he was, like... Oh, at the beginning. He's... Like, before he's, he went to court. He's blushing. But I think he was just more like... <laughs> yeah, this is weird. The, well, yeah, exactly. Okay, this is weird. well... Ah, a ladder! It's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh, uh, okay. Why is there a ladder in every single case? <laughs> every single game. It's not even worth arguing with her on this one. The circus music is great, too. Look! That's where Max comes out during the show! I've gotta admit, that was a pretty cool effect. We're planning for me to start coming out on the line. On the line. We're planning to come for planning for me to start coming out of the lion during the show. Okay, say it right. <laughs> That's Thank great, you. Regina. Yeah, I'll ride on Regina's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. I want to try it too. I'll ride on Nick's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. Sometimes I wonder about this girl. No clues here. Um, there's definitely some hoops there. Whoa, those lights are huge. I love lights. Whenever I appear under a spotlight, everyone claps for me. That's because everyone knows that you're cute. No, I'm not cute. You're cute. Me? No, you. <laughs> no, you. Of course, I'm sure you'd make an incredible heroine. Heroine, yep. Really, you think so? Nick, did you hear that? Me, heroine. What about Nick, Regina? Hmm, Nick. He's no hero, is he? Ouch! Thanks a lot, Maya! Well, what would he be? Who's the one who's saving all the people in these cases? Me. The seats are kind of far away, don't you think? They are, but it also means that lots of people can fit in the big top. He's right! We can fit 500 people into a show! 500? That's amazing! Flying around above that many people's a real rush! At least, that's what Max said! rope? Hey, it's a rope! Probably for tightrope walking. That's a bit strange. There weren't any tightrope walkers in the show when we saw it. It's probably the ringmaster rope. <laughs> you know how the there's ringmaster like... rope? Yeah. There's like a car there's a person who has like the two, um, they're kind of whips more than ropes, where he's like, oh. cha cha like, you can see it, but they can't. Like, where they're doing that. I didn't, and it tames I lions, I think. I've never seen that before. Alright, December 28th, Big Top Ringmaster's Room. Okay. This was the Ringmaster's Room. Yep. The room belonged to the victim. Which means this must be where Max met the Ringmaster last night. Now that you mention it, that is what he said. I wonder what. Hmm. That's an interesting poster. <gasps> 
It's a poster of Max. I want it. I want it. Nick, I want it. I want to get out of here. You want a picture of Max? Even now? It's a table for guests. There are some papers scattered on top. Ah, look at this. Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. Yikes! W what is it? I didn't know that a magician... This salary is incredible. She looks like she's about ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? How much is it? That much?! Incredible, huh? You can say that again! This must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. The Rainmaster signed it and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise. But this document is dated a week ago. Ooh. Okay. Well, okay. Nick, look at all these cute trophies! Indeed. Just look at all the awards this circus has won. Like, all country quiz champions! Ringmaster's Associate Mini Golf Master, Beer Belly Balloon Bounce Champ, Pet Grooming Grand Prix. Wow, the Ringmaster was multi talented in ways I could never have imagined. <laughs> the Beer Belly Bounce Award, yes, please. He seems big enough that he could do that. There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? There are indeed. So many posters that, they're, that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? Maya, we're supposed to be the honest ones around here. But. But, you didn't even notice that I took one! Ah, she already swiped one! <laughs> You're incorrigible, you know that? Max Galactica promo poster added to the court record. I want to look at it. Emboisoned with Max's free fabulous symbols. <laughs> he is shirtless all the time. What the heck? That's what I was saying. It's like crazy. Whoa, look at those shoes! Look at those Platforms. shoes! Those are like Spice Girls shoes. Wow, Max. Anyhow, let's continue. Look at all the stars on this poster. This must have been the poster they used to promote, promote their public appearances. Posters are the way to go, aren't they? What do you mean? We should make posters to promote our law firm! Spine-tingling legal action! Mind-numbing le legalese! You will say, wow! Or perhaps, hold it! Don't miss out on a stunning life or death courtroom thrill ride! With those taglines, our law firm would sink faster than the Titanic. You may not know this, but they call it this tailcoat. And they call this the face of someone who already knew that. Hmm. What? A scrap of white paper is sticking out of the coat pocket. Huh? Where? Where? Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging for people's coats. Ah, uh, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. They're dead. Rummage through their coat. It's fine. This is where the ringmaster applied his makeup. It's quite a collection of the most understated colors. Shocking pink, for example. This one says it's all 100% all-natural organic mascara. And this one says sensitive enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. The ringmaster must have been really concerned about skincare. Very metrosexual. A sexual. A sexual. I cannot talk. The... Oh, wait, hang on. Whoops. His desk, obviously. This is strange. Everything else looks nice, but this desk looks old and cheap. There's a really big photo on the desk. It's a picture of Regina and her father, the ringmaster. He really loved her, didn't he? Regina was lucky to have such a wonderful father. I want to see it. I want to see the picture. Too bad. I wonder what happened to her mom. I don't think we ever know that. Aw, oh, that's a shame. I mean, that might explain some of the Oh things. boy, okay. December 28th, very big Circus Circus entrance. Huh? Hey Nick, look over there! What? There's someone over there! I excuse me! I'll mine. Hello? A mine. Wow, he sure is a quiet one. Excuse me! <laughs> me? Yes, you work at the circus, don't you? No, I'm just your everyday average Joe. An average Joe who just happens to hang out at the circus? I don't think so. Y yes, I am. I've got nothing to do with what's going on here. Oh. He's lying. Like any regular person would hang around the circus. Dressed like that! I'm an attorney. My name is Phoenix Wright. 
I'm a spirit medium. My name is Maya. Well, I, um, just happen to be, um, passing by. I don't suppose you happen to be some kind of carny. Not a c c carny. I'm a p performer. Actually, I'm a v ventriloquist. Ventriloquist? Ventriloquist is so cool. <laughs> I'm a b b Benjamin w w w Woodman. Your last name is Woodman? <laughs> yes, th that's right. But ever everyone calls me b b b Ben. Oh, he's this got a bad stutter. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. That's your alias, right? I believe they call it a stage name. This is like the one guy who I don't really like in the circus case, I'll be honest. And because he's, his personality is, I have a speech impediment, basically. Aw, oh, it sucks. Excuse me, Ben? Uh, yes? You mean me? About the murder, I'd like to talk to you about the details, if I may. R really, I'm just a regular normal guy. I don't know. Uh, ah. This guy's so nervous, he's creeping me out. Nick, cheer up! Just try and smile! I love the music, though. Would you mind telling us something about Max? Maximilian Galactica! M -m Max? He's not very nice. Did he just say that Max is not very nice? I mean... <laughs> Ow, but my head hurts. Yikes! I hope he's okay. Sounds like he just popped a gasket. I really hope, because I know people who have speech impediments and they are great people. I really hope that Max does not bully this dude, or, like, is mean to him, because just because you're a little slow does not mean that you are a bad person yeah, or that you deserve to be picked on. Just letting you know. Thank you, Marty. Ben, so you're a ventriloquist. Uh, I'm j j just a regular g guy. You already told us that you were a ventriloquist. Oh, yes. Nick, don't yell at him. You can't do that. I can't help it! He's making me nervous! Ben, do you mind showing us some of your skills as a ventriloquist? Well, I, I right now, my... Uh, I, 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 why... Uh, he's contagious! <laughs> I guess he must not have his puppet. Correct. Would you mind taking a look at this? Uh, um, uh, uh I... I guess we won't need you to look at this after. How is he ventriloquist if he has a speech impediment? I mean, good for him, but... Maybe he's just good at ventriloquism. He's Maybe. 31. Conversing with him is really tiring. Would you mind taking a look at this? Yes, he would. Uh, how about Max? Nope. Would you mind taking a look at everything that we have in this... Alright, I'm gonna try Regina. Nope. <laughs> Alright, he's just gonna react that way to everything, yeah. then. Let's okay. move on. Back to the... Yeah. Oh, 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 please, please, please. Yes! Marty's been looking for I've been with this. this he, okay, every, Mo is pretty much the most universally despised character. I cannot believe that. He is one of my favorites. If he's nice, I think he'll be good. All right. He may not be nice, I don't know. All right, Mo's room. All right, I gotta, I gotta brace myself for this. Okay. Are you gonna be loud? Should I let Oh, yes. Back? Okay, okay, I'll sit back for a sec. Well... Okay, I'll... I'll uh, yeah, okay, anyway, uh, just go, just go. Okay. Hello! Congratulations! You're the big leader! You're the one millionth visitor to the room of Mr. Mo Curls, a.k.a. me! Earplugs must find earplugs. He's too mouth. <laughs> to celebrate this momentous occasion, would you care for an organic grape? Just one! Did you get my joke right there? <laughs> Actually, I really like this guy right now. <laughs> I welched on giving you more than one! <laughs> oh my gosh. Um... No, no, no! If it was funny, it is your duty as a human being to laugh! People who don't laugh are usually last seen and last seen! Catch my drift! <laughs> <laughs> this is literally Mickey Mouse as a clown. <laughs> this is great. Um... Maya? <laughs> This is like some fashion nightmare. Come on, it was funny! Clowns are always funny in my book. In my book, they're just funny looking. You sure do have great taste in clothes, girly! Look at that garb! You look just like Greta Garb! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home. No, Nick, you can't! 
You know, I can excuse a bad joke or two, but this stooge keeps laughing at his own jokes. That's what I object to. Okay, okay, I get it. But you have to admit, he is kind of funny. Ah, <sighs> no, I do not have to admit that, because he isn't. <laughs> this is great. He is one of my favorite characters. <laughs> Could you please tell us more about the Berry Circus? It's a very big story! I hope you got that kind of time! <laughs> and the hits just keep on coming. <laughs> this guy's so many bad puns, the character! Yeah, <laughs> which great. is why you love him. <laughs> One of the many reasons why I love him. This circus has been in business for 20 years. We all performed under the guidance of the ringmaster, Russell Berry. 20 years? Wow! Working in the circus is never easy, especially nowadays. With movies, TV, and bowling, there's just too much competition. Okay, okay, I, I'm saying this now, I really don't want you to be the murderer, okay? You're funny, and you seem wholesome, generally speaking. Well, unfortunately- Please do not be the murderer! I mean, unfortunately, never trust the clown. I know, I know! But he's- ugh. I, uh, yeah. But, but, I love the circus! I love it too! That's why I've been here for 20 years! We work hard to keep the show running. No one sends in the clowns on us. Nick, he's just made a joke. Laugh. Har 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 har. <laughs> the ringmaster was a real big shot in the circus world. A real class act. Even when there were no customers, Russell would use his own money to pay us. That's really nice. Because he knew I had a family to take care of. He was happy to care for his employees. I see. How could anyone do that to such a wonderful man? Okay, I'm taking back my statement just a little bit, but I'm still <laughs> mad you killed a lion. Also, his second mouth on his hat it mimics his expressions. Oh, is... that's kind of funny. Mo, wiggity, 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 what? Ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mo. Nick was born without a sense of humor. Don't worry about it. How can you fault someone for being born that way? Let's talk about the murder. Ah, let's see. It must have taken place around 10 p.m. last night. After rehearsals were finished, I was tuckered out, so I came back here. After I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. This is literally a repeat of the Still Samurai Act? <laughs> oh, I'm tired! I'm gonna go to bed! Whoa! Except this time it's the witness who did that. Uh, caught a peek? Of the crime! So this is what Detective Gumshoe was talking about. Mo was the eyewitness to the crime. Well, I mean, okay. The Ringmaster was truly ahead of his time. He would always add new elements to the show. New elements? When you've been a performer for a long time, your act starts getting a bit stale. Hmm. Very true. I realize that even my act can get a bit long in the tooth. Sometimes my jokes can be a bit, um, old-fashioned. A bit long in the tooth? But that make-believer takes things too far! Make-believer? The magician! The one that thinks he's all high and mighty! He had the gall to say to me, you're one of those funny types, right? What does he mean, one of those? Well, the joke's on him now. On him? Yup, he got on everyone's nerves. The day of the murder? Go ahead. No, no way. Just forget I said anything. Hmm. I bet he's still hiding something about Max. <laughs> I love this <laughs> thing yeah. of Moe. He's just like... <laughs> also... He reminds me a little bit of Ernie from Sesame Street in that position. A little bit. Also, I'm gonna say this. Pickles the Clown and Mo the Clown, the only two good clowns I've ever encountered. Yes. My, my main thing that I'm noticing right away is Max is probably not the worst person, but he is kind of arrogant and annoying. Yep. Everyone hates him. So either he did something really bad mm -hmm. of some kind that we haven't heard about, or everyone's kind of teaming up against him. Mm -hmm. Or, I don't know, maybe the murderer's like, Oh man, did you hear about Max? He just um, forgot to brush his teeth this morning <laughs> so his breath smells bad. And everyone's like, Oh, Max, come on! Why? <laughs> okay, I don't know. Then. I don't know. Just like something like Oh, this could be good. You, so you say you saw the crime. Do you mind telling me what you saw? I love this music. Well, the police told me that I can't share my story with others. Don't say a word. I'm just gonna have to keep these lips staying zip. That's not fair. I guess you're right. Maybe I can tell you a few details. But only if you can get old stiff lips here to make with the funny. Stiff lips? Wait, do you mean me? Nick, you can do it! <laughs> What's the matter? 
just getting ready. Okay, do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, am a great lawyer? Because I'm right all the time! Oh my gosh. At least he, his expectations are low. I wouldn't let him quit his day job. Jeez, cut a guy some slack. At least it was funnier than Chuckles over here. It wasn't the greatest joke I've heard, but you did try, so I'll tell you what I saw. I'm sorry he's incapable of being funny, Mo. I don't know, that wasn't too bad. That night, once I had tuckered myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. An amazing noise. It sounded like a giant thump. Once I heard it, I jumped out of bed. That's what I saw. Without question, without a doubt, it was that magician. You can't see! It's just black. Someone could have been like, coat, hat, <laughs> dump him in the snow. True. That's all I saw, but it just proves how terrible that man actually is. Maybe it was the tenor. He knows more about Max than he's letting on. The, the, oh, the, also, the if we can re-examine some of this stuff, this is great. We never examined the TV. We couldn't. Oh, uh, what's this? An appeal? Oh my, what a wonderful fall, girly! You should remember that when you see a banana peel, get ready to fall down! That's one of the basic tenets of clownmanship. Ow, 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 ow! Every night, I fall down a hundred times to practice the proper banana peel break fall. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my this. gosh. Wow. He really is a pro, huh, Nick? His falls are totally different than my slip! Also, when Link played this game the first time, he accidentally examined that like ten times. So he's like, ah, he keeps me to ah! stop. That's amazing. Because <laughs> he kept trying to examine the shoes to see something different. Also, oh. those shoes look like giant dog heads, don't they? Yeah, kind of. I look awfully snazzy in these costumes. Um, did you just use the word snazzy in a sentence? I sure did! These are hot contour from the best international clown designers! At least, that's what they said on the TV shopping channel I I know what I want to be when I grow up. I'm going to be an international clown designer. <laughs> so, I like having a big collection so I can match my costume to my mood and my carrot. Oh. <laughs> you know, I only own one t-shirt. The rest are all clown costumes. Snazzy dresser? More like spazzy dresser, if you ask me. I'm trying to imagine this dude in street clothes. It's hard, because he's in clown makeup. <laughs> Mo, you've got quite the collection of pajamas. They really scream out to you. You think they're loud, huh? I kind of thought they were refined. You know, a bit too adult for me on the to use on the stage. That's why I use them as pajamas. Wait a second. He sweeps in clown costumes? <laughs> Look at my desk! Aren't I the most studious con you've ever seen? Every free moment I have, I spend it studying or reading. Good for you! The classic pull my finger or clown car maintenance and repair. Not to mention the bestseller, Jean-Luc de la Duc's Guide to Obnoxious Chiffrench Periods. Um, they all seem to cover rather basic topics, though. Maybe he's just trying to cover all of his bases? Exactly! I want to be a renaissance clown! Too bad he didn't buy the How to Be a Funny Clown. <laughs> wow. Us clowns really take our work seriously. I try to hone my craft day and night with the latest in jester technology. Unicycles, trampolines, bouncy balls, accordions. It looks like you've put quite a bit of wear and tear on that equipment. Well, the theme of my act as a clown is, how many ways can a fat funny guy fall down? I don't care what I break or how I break it, as long as it ends with me on my bomb. <laughs> this is reminding me of like when Mickey throws a potato at a bird and he's like, yeah. ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I think the bird is the one who's laughing at him. Though. Oh, that sounded like a bird too anyway, so that's fine. Carrots are one of my trademark props. Yep, I saw you use them. You must believe in a carrot and no stick approach. You took put the carrot right in front for motivation, but I guess the trick is gauging what flavor you want each day. Exactly! You were really paying attention, weren't you? You know, I eat about five of those carrots every single day. Oh, okay, so he cycles them in and out. Then. Okay. If you eat that many, you've got to change up the taste every now and then again. I didn't understand any of that, nor do I ever want to. 
I didn't either, that's why I struggled saying it. There is a hole in the ceiling. Why is there a hole in the ceiling? Well, um... I was riding a pogo stick and I guess I just <laughs> overdid it a little. <laughs> overdid it a little? What can I say? Sometimes things get a bit crazy in one's college days. You've been there since college? Huh? How? The same room since college? I feel like stupid <laughs> stuff would be there. <laughs> what do you think about this? Anything come to mind? Ah, you want some advice on your development as a comedian, right? I see. Well, this is what you do. When you tell a joke, imagine everyone's wearing underwear and dancing the Lamada. Um, I think that's enough advice for now. <laughs> so, he's like in court and it's like, yes, like your opening statement and he's just doing that and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Nick, he was giving you good advice. Don't be so close-minded. Okay, I am agreeing with you. This clown's hysterical. Yeah, he's great. How do people hate him? Awesome! How could anyone do this to you? I, I... <laughs> Mom's taking this really hard. Harder than his own daughter? What the heck? Regina's just like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. It's that uppity faker's uppity top hat. They found this at the scene of the crime, didn't they? That's what I've been told. Unbelievable! That jerk killed the ringmaster! It really is a shame what happened to the ringmaster. Oh, Mom. It seems that the ringmaster was truly a great man. So, Mo, do you like eating at Mo's? <laughs> oh. 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 Nope, <laughs> never mind, he's just gonna give us the same advice. <laughs> Part of it is your voice is really making him better as well. Yeah. Oh, that's what I hope. I hope the people who hate Mo, like, can at least hear me do Mo and like him a bit better. <laughs> oh, see how old Mo is. <laughs> this isn't very funny. How am I supposed to know about people who aren't in the circus? <laughs> okay. Oh, how old is Mo? 46, wow. Lawrence Curls is his real name, the remaster's old friend, and a pleasant stooge of a clown. You know what? Good for you! Ah! What's the matter? Whenever I see my own nose, I'm reminded of my Italian heritage. Ah, I see. It must be because you have one of those Roman noses. Roman all over your face! I didn't cross the line there, did I? You went so far past it, you'll need a map to get back. Oh, I'm sorry, Mo! Oh, Ben! How's he doing? He's a ventriloquist, isn't he? That's right! Boy, was I surprised when they told me his secret! He's got a second mouth where his belly button should be! <laughs> Just kidding. Ben wouldn't tell me a single thing about the murder. Ah, that's a simple problem to solve! He won't talk if he doesn't have his puppet trio! Oh! Is Trilo a girl? No. Ah. Tree Trilo? <laughs> if Ben doesn't have his ventriloquist puppet, you'll barely get a worm out of him. Really? Hmm, master and puppet. I've been friends with Russell ever since before the circus began. He was so selfless, he always fought about others before thinking of himself. I'll find a way to return the favor. He always took such good care of me. I wish I would have thanked him more than I did. I'm sure you did. That's the Ringmaster's daughter, Regina. Ever since she was a little girl, she's been watching the circus performances. Cuter than a little puppy, Maltese is that, Regina. If only my Larina was that cute. Larina? Ah, Larina's my daughter. She lives with her mother now. Oh. It's true what they say about the tears of a clown. No, oh, no, he can't tell me about that. Huh! If he thinks he can kill the Rainmaster, it's only just that he should die too! Wow! Mo! Sorry, I crossed the line, but he truly is a disgusting human being. Why do you hate him so much? Let me tell you this one story. The morning before the murder, something terrible happened. Max clonked Ben right over the head as hard as he could. Ben? The ventriloquist of the speech impediment? You should go to the cafeteria and investigate for yourselves! The cafeteria? Let's just say there's gotta be something interesting there! <laughs> ah, yes! The Berry Big Circus is a very big, isn't it? You should always carry a map with you to get around. Ah, thank you! Um, 
This is an atlas. <laughs> oh, I kill myself, really. I'm dying here. Coronary! Coronary! Now he's just laughing to hear his own voice. <laughs> Circus this guy better not turn into the most creepiest clown ever. That's all I gotta say. Oh my gosh, that voice kills my throat so bad. <laughs> we need water, but... I think that's there. probably gonna be the end of it. Oh yeah. No! So, the cafeteria, the ringmaster's room, Mo on the first floor, Acro on the third floor. Acro! Oh! Acro's so cool! What? Acro. Acrobatics, you mean? Acrobatics! Or acro yoga. Alright, hang on. How much. Or... How long have we been recording? Oh my gosh, it is definitely time to end the episode off here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um. I speak. <laughs> This might be one. <laughs> this might be one time where we can't record very frequently because it might kill my throat. Okay. Depending on how frequently was, Mo appears. That was me when we had um, Vasquez. I was like, oh, let me smoke. Anyhow, tune in oh. next time. We'll be exploring more of the circus. We might finish the investigation next episode. We might not. I'm oh, not sure. Oh, is it a long investigation? Investigations are long for starting from yeah, here on out. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So that's it's, fine. I like long. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless. Thank you.